Uh, welcome to Motown India. And uh, Susani, I would like to ask you a, f a few questions. First is, you have a lot of plants in India uh, uh, manufacturing filters. Uh, one is in Faridabad, Hosur, Nalagar. Uh, are they basically focusing on automobiles or are they, are they making filters beyond automobiles? You see, we have uh, three plants in Faridabad. Uh, one is for uh, use, where we do the oil blending and waste making. The other is for paper impregnation. And the third one, which is our main unit here in Faridabad, uh, where we make uh, filters. Then we have a unit in uh, Nalagar as well in Kosovo. Uh, we basically, I, I mean, uh, the core business is filtration and we primarily uh, more into the uh, automobile uh, passenger vehicles uh, area. But then besides that, we are also into uh, commercial vehicles, uh, tractors, industrial and uh, several other uh, various other applications like small engine, industrial heating, cooling, air conditioning and all that. But those are all, you know, much in a smaller way. Uh, the primary uh, business is uh, automobile. Okay, so within the automobile, uh, is it fair to assume that it's, it's, it's is it, uh, revenues are coming from commercial vehicles or, or does the passenger car segment also contribute significantly to your business? The passenger car is, is, contributes uh, a much uh, major portion of the total revenues, but there is commercial uh, vehicles which is uh, of course uh, very very important. And I said earlier that there is uh, tractors, there is small engines, generators, industrial, those are also you know, very much uh, significant. And, and uh, talking of automobile uh, business uh, of filters, is it, is it primarily more OE focused or, or is it in the aftermarket which, which you are prevalent? Filter is a product which needs to be changed every you know, certain uh, service interval. So there definitely is a you know, very significant aftermarket demand compared to the other uh, automobile and civilian products. So uh, we have roughly about 30% of our total revenue coming in from OE and 40% is Okay. Uh, also, another fact is the, the technology aspect of, of filter making. Since 1951, when you actually started this company, you know India has also seen a great change in the in the in, in the vehicle segment in terms of technology changes. You know, products to, today are far more technology savvy compared to the ones which were several decades ago. So, has the filter too undergone such a huge or a rapid change in terms of technology? Yeah, the filtration technology has definitely evolved over uh, the uh, period of time. Uh, uh, about 40 years ago, one used to have uh, dead type cotton filled uh, canister filters or the felt type uh, filters, uh, the cloth filters. Then you had uh, the paper, uh, printed paper filters, uh, mainly the uh, STF type cartridges. After that we had spin-ons and now what we are seeing the world is going into uh, various uh, metal free uh, filters with the synthetic considerable amount of uh, synthetic media into that which is longer life, better efficiency and so definitely the filtration uh, technology also has you know taken a, a great leap over the period. Well, if I were to compare the filters made here in India and filters made abroad for cars is there a is there a difference? Is, is there a major difference of any sort? There is absolutely no difference. Okay. I mean, the facilities that we have are, are absolutely world class, and they are uh, you know the best in the world. Uh, very much uh, we are capable to cater to the requirements of all the uh, major OEMs uh, abroad. You know, besides the uh, manufacturing. Uh, upgradation of the manufacturing technology uh, we also invested uh, nearly about uh, 30 crores on upgradation of our R&D on uh, technology and uh, that gives us you know we have the most modern uh, equipment for uh, testing for mm -hmm. prototyping and everything and that gives us a lot of uh, you know uh, 
leverage uh, for you know developing new products for various uh, customers and today elofic has one of the best r and d capabilities in the country okay and, and how many people are currently there at that r and d center of course all put together we close to about uh, 30 30 persons and uh, the expenditure on the r and d uh, is uh, at the moment uh, close to about uh, nearly 2% of our uh, you know, turnover. So is it fair to assume that you are exporting also filters from India? 30% uh, yeah, of our sales is uh, exported. Okay. We have a very major chunk of that is going into OEM in the US. Okay, and where you have a warehouse I presume? We do have a warehouse in the US in Wisconsin. So how does it happen? I mean, you, you export and it's stored in that warehouse and from there it's distributed. That's the way it is. We, we have a, 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 a subsidiary company in uh, the US uh, and the product is sent to the uh, subsidiary company uh, which warehouses uh, and supplies to the various OEMs on a, on a JIT basis. Okay. okay, as simple as that. So. Uh, the Elofit brand has, over a period of time, become a very strong brand. You know, I've personally seen it and I've, I've, I've seen it grow as a journalist. Obviously, the brand is now being leveraged in a big way. And like you just mentioned a little while ago that you're into Ubes and others, uh, uh, products like Coolens. How is that business doing? Well, they're still in the infancy stages, but uh, uh, nevertheless, uh, the results are very encouraging. Uh, we reached a level of about selling 80 KL per month, which uh, by, you know, for a new entrant, uh, by the industry standards, it's, it's not bad. We definitely have, uh, you know, very ambitious plans uh, for the future, uh, although the core business for us is still going to be filtration. Okay, and, and, and how soon do we see you? expand in a major way, perhaps become a global leader of sorts, move out of the country and, and you know, we hear of news of uh, mergers and acquisitions. Are you looking at any of those routes? Well, there are talks going on all the time. Uh, you know, we, we, are, we are talking to a lot of people for, for mergers, for even acquisitions. Globally, we are talking to several people. So, you should be hearing uh, some Very soon you'll be hearing something. Okay, okay. Are there major filter makers in the country, in, in, in the world, in globally? Uh, how is it, uh, how is it done globally? Are there many, very many players in, in many of the countries? Well, all put together, there should be globally, there should be about uh, 10 to 12 different uh, major players who are kind of giants in their own field. And... Uh, we have a, a strong relationship with each one of them. I mean, many of them are customers as well. We, they source the products uh, from us. And we have a like, lot of talks and a lot of uh, discussions with them. A lot of times there's an informal flow of technology as well that coming in from there. And, uh, well, who knows? Um, at any time, at a given opportunity, you know, things so, may click and and uh, we may uh, join hands with uh, anybody. Okay, so will 2015 or 2016 be the most exciting year for 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 such a news where you, you merged or you acquired a company? It's going on, or I think uh, maybe within one year, yes. Okay, which part of the world? I mean, to give a little, I mean, to, for our readers to understand. Well, you know? We are we are actually in talks for even acquisition. Okay. So, and, and that's the area where we would like to, you know, we ourselves are more interested in because so as to be a, a, a global player, uh, we want to be part of those, one of, one of those 12 uh, companies uh, there, not by, not by merging into them, but being one of them. Okay. So, and acquisition definitely, uh, when, it's, when it's done, it has several benefits. So what could or what will be the major benefit? Is it going to be technology or is it just going to be the markets? 
primarily we are doing it for, for growth, okay. uh, for, for horizontal growth and uh, uh, technology isn't really a concern because what we have today is the best in the world. We shop around everywhere and hunt for the best kind of technology, the best kind of media, the best kind of manufacturing, the testing machines. So we do have the best. Uh, technology isn't really a need, but uh, yes, uh, for different markets, that's the primary Okay, so India too is developing in a major way with a lot of automotive hubs all across. It's no more a part of South or no more a part of Maharashtra now. Gujarat's also hopped in. So, would you be looking at maybe perhaps you know having a greater presence in any of these major automotive hubs in, in, in the near future? We are looking at Gujarat uh, in a very uh, advanced stages of uh, finalization of uh, land deployment there. And uh, we, in, in the coming years, for sure, everything is going to have a plan. So since Gujarat is, uh, because of the strategic location, and, and, and would you be uh, uh, catering to the players around that area or would it also be an export hub of sorts, you know? Well, for sure, uh, being closer to the port, uh, it is advantageous to us to uh, you know, cater to the export markets uh, from there. And uh, of course, we have the, the western uh, part of India customers Okay, one last question. What's the road ahead? I mean, your, your brand has grown significantly. You've already leveraged it to some extent. Do you want to further leverage it or would you be just concentrating on filters and becoming the king of filters? Well, sky is the limit and uh, we uh, would definitely be, uh, like to have filtration as our core business. There is still a lot that one can do in this area. Uh, there, you know, this, this, uh, particularly in water filtration, in uh, industrial uh, filtration uh, for breweries, for for inks. Uh, there is a lot of uh, you know market there, and that's an area that we will be going in. Plus, new technology uh, in various other. Products. That's also one of the plans. Okay, uh, I, uh, a word from you, sir, about about the filter business. I'm sure you've also been part of this great journey, and, and you were part of this great journey. So, uh, I mean, you're very passionate about filters. So, what do you think? You know, I mean, do you really feel that you know very soon you're going to be the king I mean, of, of the filter world? No, we have the best technology available. Filters, how we are making the backward integration that we have done in our plant is, 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 is better than anywhere in the world. We are, uh, we are confident that we are going and will be going. Okay, when you talk of, just uh, let me ask you another related question. When you talk of backward integration filters, what exactly does that mean? It means like uh, the other filter manufacturers in India are buying all sourcing a lot of components. They are doing everything in house. You buy the, the raw material, like for example, the steel coils, the base paper. We do everything in house. Whereas other people, they buy the, the components. We make the components in house also. So you, so you're a complete wholesome filter make yeah. uh, manufacturer. Yes. Thank you so much, and wish you both the very best. Thank you. Thank you.